be like maybe 13 or 14. Just moved from a densely populated city to 60 acre farm in the middle of nowhere because parents wanted to for some stupid reason so fuck it. Having a housewarming party with group of friends from the city one afternoon. Walking around the property behind the house to explore and goof off. Start walking farther than I had tried to previous to that point with friends, had only been living there maybe a few days. Get to a clearing just past the bow of a hill and right outside where the woods started. Friends are running around and chasing each other with sticks or whatever stupid middle schooler shit. Call everyone together to prepare a trek into the woods eager to see what interesting things might be around, I've always liked hiking despite having been a city slicker. Wait for the group to be collected before turning around to face the woods again which at this point had been behind me while I waited for everyone to be ready. Walk a few yards towards the woods with my friends following behind me before noticing something that looks like an errant tree branch on the ground in front of us. Get closer and take notice of what it actually is. Entire back leg of what I'm guessing was a deer lying in the middle of this clearing. No signs of decomposition or coagulation of blood. Rip was fresh and had probably happened at the very least on the same day. Stand there staring at the leg sort of dumbfounded while trying to imagine how it got there. Hear friends behind me murmuring to themselves. Realize the leg probably freaks them out a lot more than me because hardly any of them have as much experience as I do with the wilderness and turn towards them to quell their paranoia. Yeah, this is pretty strange, but it's honestly not that uncommon to find dead animal parts strewn about areas like this, I don't think this is really that big of a deal. Friend closest to me says. Anon, look. And points ahead to what the rest of them are staring at. Look at where he's pointing and see tons of animal parts strewn about the edge of where the woods begin. Mostly various organs like livers and stomachs or intestines. Some are just unidentifiable masses of flesh with tufts of fur still attached. Ah uh, wow okay. The few girls that were with us get pretty freaked out and decide they want to walk back to the house. One of my brothers cites the fact that the sun is starting to go down and escorts them back, but I think he was probably just also scared and didn't want to admit it. Me and three other brothers remain and we start our expedition. I walk ahead of the other three trying to look confident and fearless but secretly starting to feel really uneasy. A short distance from the entrance we find a small creek and start following along its bank. My friends are tossing rocks into the creek while I'm enjoying the native wildlife we keep running into, just like bugs and birds and shit. Feeling of uneasiness subsides slightly. Start to hear low moaning noise deeper into the woods. Friends don't seem to notice so I ignore it and keep following the creek while telling myself it's just some stupid fucking animal being a dick and making creepy noises for no reason. We had been walking for a good 20 minutes or so when I notice a rancid smell like fermented shit. Walk around a bend of the creek and see a mass on the ground about 12 yards away. Get close to it and discover it's a completely mangled body of a large cow. Looks like it's been there for months. Bones in its legs are broken. Missing a lot of ribs. Face has been picked clean of all soft tissue. The low moaning noises have gotten loud enough at this point that my friends have finally noticed them. Decide that I don't want us to be stuck out there after dark and start to lead them back to the house. We get back and fuck around playing PlayStation or whatever for the rest of the night. None of my friends come back to the farm after that. Fast forward to about a week later. Various animal parts near the entrance of the woods were gone the next day and I'd been spending the last few days trying to relocate the corpse we ran into next to the creek with no luck. Walk around in the fields by myself still trying to familiarize myself with the area. Not so much scared by the situation from last week but more just confused. Nightfall finally comes and I start heading back towards the house. Walking around in the dark without a torch to the light of a full moon because I was a weird kid that liked doing that sort of shit. 
make it to a field that had formerly been used as a plot for crops, can't remember what kind, by the previous farm's owners. Walk down it for a minute while peering through the darkness and letting my eyes adjust to the moonlight. Stop when I hear some scuffling noises not far ahead of me. Think for a second that my dog had gotten out and curse under my breath. Wait for a minute in silence expecting him to run up to me while wagging his tail and smiling like a dumb fuck. Notice something moving across the field not more than 30 yards away. Not my fucking dog. Very clearly see some fucking really really weird looking thing with pointed ears and an elongated snout crossing my path on all fours. While moving in a way that reminded me of a deer trying to learn how to walk immediately after having been born. Only it doesn't look like a deer, more like a cobbled together toy of one. And it's fucking enormous. It doesn't seem to notice me as I watch it slowly meander away. I wait for it to be out of sight and silently sprint back to my house. Walk in and see my dog quietly lying in his bed. Don't mention it to my parents and just go to my room. Fast forward another couple of days. I've completely stopped exploring the property at this point and taken to spending all of my time in the house. Sitting in the living room downstairs playing videos games at around 8ish at night. Mom pokes her head in and asks me to drag the garbage out to the curb. Fuck me. Put on my shoes and go outside. The curb is a fair distance away from the house and I don't want to spend more time outside after dark than I need to. So I end up basically jogging to the curb while dragging this garbage can behind me, on a gravel road making a shit ton of noise and running back to my house as quickly as possible. Accomplish my chore without incident and continue playing video games. Get done playing games and retreat to my room for sleep. Have trouble dozing off and decide to light a candle and read a book. Bed is on the ground, hadn't bothered to set up the frame yet, pushed up against the walls that are closest to the outside on the opposite end of the house where my parents are asleep. Probably around 2 or 3 in the morning. Hear a light tapping at the window to the right and past the foot of my bed. Assume it's a tree branch or something and ignore it. Hear it again. God damn this is a good book. Hear loud bang on the window that sounds like someone slapping it with an open palm. Get startled and think it's one of my parents outside spying on me trying to get me to go to sleep, my grades had been starting to slip because I was staying up too late. Toss book off the side of the bed and blow out the candle. Sit in silence for a moment. Hear the tapping noise again. Get really fucking scared. Reach over to the side of my bed to pick up a baseball bat I had lying next to it. Grip it for dear life ready to beat something to hell and back. Sit in the dark for what felt like forever. Start hearing a dull scratching noise coming from behind the wall near the spot to the right of the window next to my feet. Shit 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 shit. Listen helplessly as the noise starts to get louder. Like a lot fucking louder. Sounds like there's someone dragging a collection of industrial grade rakes along the outside of my wall. Pull my feet up and sit in the fetal position still gripping the bat. Realize the noise is moving along the wall getting closer to where I actually was on the bed. Listen to it drag along my right side, around the corner and finally hover directly behind my head. Sitting there in disbelief at how goddamn loud it is. Preparing myself mentally to die. Noise abruptly stops. Feel my heart about to pop out of my chest. Suddenly hear my dog barking. Jump out of my bed still holding my bat. Run to find my dog pointed at the side entrance of the house barking loudly and growling. Try to calm him down. He's going totally apeshit, hadn't ever seen him like that before. Mom comes downstairs to see what's up. I tell her that I think the dog saw a cat or something to kind of skirt the reality of what had just happened. Finally calm him down enough to get him to stop barking. Mom goes back upstairs. 
Petting my dog while he continues to growl pretty viciously while still pointed at the door. Convince myself that whatever I had heard in my room must have been a raccoon or something stupid and that I should see if it's outside making my dog go crazy. Flip the switch for the side porch light and unlock the door, taking a breath before cracking it open slightly to peer outside. Look out to see a neatly placed severed pig's foot on the ground just within reach of the porch light. Shut the door and relock it. Sit at the door with my dog until morning. I lived there for another 10 years. After a while, I got over my astounding fears of the forests and started exploring the property again but never went anywhere without my dog or stayed outside past dark. I'd find weird animal parts in random places from time to time and just got used to it after a while. Every now and then, my dog would start barking at something and I would take that as his signal that we needed to go back inside. He lived for a pretty damn long time, like 15 years, but eventually died of old age. Within a week of that happening I had moved out and gone to the opposite end of the country. I really miss him. Pig related, it's my pooch. Thank you.